Just because you're not using a computer doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to add all the overlays that you want. That being said, you can download and use the Streamlabs mobile app completely for free, which they've just applied a bunch of cool new updates to to give users like yourself full customization over their mobile streams. Let me show you how to use it. To show you guys that are brand new to this application, I've gone ahead and performed the fresh install of the Streamlabs mobile app on my iPhone. Let's go ahead and launch it and select the next button. And here you're gonna tell Streamlabs what kind of streams you plan on doing. You can go ahead and pick the option that's most relevant to your scenario and go ahead and select next. And here we're gonna wanna make sure that we enable the camera and also the microphone. Once you've gotten through those screens, you'll be able to see the camera and the whole live feed of this app. And before we go live, let's make sure we connect our account and customize our stream layout. So to do that, we're gonna go over to that left hand icon, select that menu, and then go to account settings. And then we're gonna be able to log into one of our accounts that we plan on streaming to. So you know me, I'm a YouTube streamer. So we're gonna go ahead and select the login for YouTube, and then just go ahead and sign in to your YouTube account through Streamlabs. The sign-in process is gonna be the same if you're using Twitch or Facebook as well. And now as you can probably tell, we have a whole bunch of more features available to our disposal. The one we're gonna wanna check out right away is the editor. Even though we might be looking at a blank canvas right now, Streamlabs makes this very easy to set up. What we can do is actually go on the right-hand side and select pre-made layouts. And this is where we can throw in some pre-assigned overlays to our editor right off the bat. So I like to go landscape style. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and apply the layout. And you can see that those overlays just apply to my editor and I can select any of these icons these boxes and move them around to my liking to where I want them to appear can also resize them by selecting the corners if you want to add additional layers feel free to go to the right hand side and select layers and this is where you can select the plus button and see all the different layer types you can add so you can add a widget which is going to be your alert box your chat box your event list you can add credits donation goals stream boss your viewer count bro th there are so many <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but to me, it's feeling like Streamlabs Mobile has just hit puberty. Streamlabs graphics are basically gonna be your transparent PNG photo icons that you can place over your stream, which would be very cool if you plan, if I go back here real, real quick, on adding a stream label, which is gonna be those names of people that have recently subscribed, your all-time donator, your new member, whoever that is, that name will be placed as a label within the stream. You also have the option to add a custom item layer, which is where you can add your own special URL, you can upload an image from your device, or even add custom text. You can actually rearrange the order of those layers just by pressing the hamburger icon and then just moving them up or down depending on where you need the layer to be. So you might want something that's just a label or text to be over a graphic. If you own an Android device and go back into the layers portion of the mobile app, you're gonna see that you have the ability to add a camera as well as the share screen. This means that yes, you're gonna be able to have a face cam over your gameplay. Now for both of the mobile operating systems, for any reason you need to hide a layer, lock it, or even delete it, what you can do is just select it and then go ahead and select the three dotted icon at the top and you're gonna see those options listed down all the way to delete if you need to remove the layer completely. Something else we're gonna wanna check out before we go live is our video stream settings. So we're gonna wanna scroll down in our options to streaming, and then within here, you can see our output resolution, which we can set all the way up to 1080p. We can also set the expected frame rate, which we can set to 60 FPS. And for our maximum bit rate, we can set it up to absurdly 48,000 kilobits per second, which for the majority of you guys, that will not be necessary. You can stick it anywhere between 2,500 to 6,000 kilobits per second and you'll be fine. Now at this point, we are ready to go live. So we're just gonna tap the screen and select the go live button. And within here, we can now set where we want to stream to. If you're streaming to YouTube, more often than not, you're gonna wanna create a new event. And then within here, you can give it a title as well as a description. Once you have that information set, go ahead and select go live.
On Android, you'll be able to capture your face cam and gameplay with the custom overlay widgets that you've set. And for iOS, as of today, you'll only be able to capture your front and back cameras on your device. You'll still be able to stream your gameplay using the screen capture functionality, but you won't be able to use the custom overlay widget features that you set up through the editor. Definitely looking for an update soon where we can do this on our iOS devices. With your stream now completed, you most definitely picked up some points along the way. So you can check that out by going into the options and then going to the rewards section on the right side there. And within here, this is where you can redeem different rewards that are part of the Prime package usually, but now you can redeem them for free just by streaming, collecting points, and growing your audience. Some of those rewards include multi-streaming where you can stream to multiple platforms at the same time. You can remove the watermark as well as unlocking custom themes from Streamlabs. If we go back to the editor and go to add theme, there are so many theme options, so you're definitely gonna find something that fits your style. I'm gonna select Eclipse, that looks pretty cool. Continue and then that's gonna get added into my layout editor. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty satisfied with the way that this application performs. Again, we really need to get the face cam overlaid on top of the gameplay feature on iOS. Android, you're lucky you got it working. Another thing is that we need a way to see the chat outside of the Streamlabs mobile app. If we're playing a game, we need to have some sort of way to see a little notification or some sort of chat dialogue while we're in the game so we don't have to keep going back to the Streamlabs app or having to use a second device altogether to read chat. And this goes for both the iOS and the Android versions, by the way. But I'll end it with this, guys. We're definitely improving in the mobile space when it comes to streaming. Let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, all that cool stuff. I'll see y'all. Peace.